On both sides of the dam. Yuri Sack is also on the line, an advisor to the Ministry of Defence in Ukraine, uh, frequently on BBC programmes. Morning again, uh, Mr Sack. First of all, what does Ukraine say was the cause of this explosion? Good morning. Um, this was a terrorist act by the terrorist state Russia. And, uh, you know, in a way, we shouldn't even be probably surprised because we have seen Russia commit atrocities uh, so many times during the last 15 months. And uh, this is something, you know, we, we're getting interceptions now uh, of uh, calls between the Russian uh, personnel, uh, Russian soldiers, and they're telling each other, you know, that it's uh, their fault. And they're actually calling to blow up more dams on the Dnieper River. And of course, this is a very serious uh, situation because, uh, like your previous uh, reporter said, uh, you know, 16,000 people are now at risk of having their homes flooded. Uh, almost 10 villages in the nearby are uh, in the immediate threat of flooding. The evacuations are taking place. The president of Ukraine, Zelensky, has called an emergency meeting of the National Security and Defense Council. And we understand that uh, what is happening is Russia's desperate uh, attempt to somehow um, uh, somehow influence our plans, our offensive. Uh, they are in panic, they're desperate and they're committing atrocities. When you say this was uh, th this was their act, they're responsible, how do you believe it happened? Was it an airstrike? Uh, we will have to still establish whether it was uh, an airstrike or whether it was a controlled explosion. Um, last night, uh, we have to say that last night was uh, another massive missile attack on uh, Ukraine and our air defense forces have actually been able to intercept and shoot down 35 cruise missiles and the vast majority of which have been targeting uh, uh, Kyiv and they they've, uh, luckily have been shot down. Uh, but uh, look, uh, it's it's um, we Ukrainians, we are uh, on a mission to liberate our land. So when Russians uh, even suggest that uh, this is not their fault, uh, it sounds ridiculous. It's uh, it sounds uh, beyond uh, implausible. But you believe that the Russian action is is linked to the fact that your forces have begun to take offensive action in some areas. Can we say then that this is a new phase of the conflict? Well, we have seen yesterday, for example, that Russians have intensified uh, disinformation campaigns aimed at discrediting Ukrainian armed forces in our offensive military operations. Uh, today we see this. So, of course, uh, I will repeat, uh, Russians are desperate, they're in panic, they are demoralized. So this, this is probably their reaction to their failures on the battlefield. Uh, you, you mentioned the flooding downstream. Uh, what, what about that area upstream and particularly the Zaporizhia nuclear power plant and, and, the, and the, the water from reservoirs that is needed by that plant? Well, yes, the uh, nu uh, Zaporizhia nuclear power plant, which is the second largest in Europe, uh, is using the water from that reservoir to cool down its reactors. And uh, Ukrainian uh, energy authorities are uh, controlling the situation. The UN Atomic Agency is has been informed. So uh, for the moment, there is no immediate risk. But of course, uh, the situation develops very rapidly. You know, the water is the water levels are rising 15 centimeters uh, uh, per hour. And of course, you know, if there are uh, they are rising down south, but up north they are falling. So uh, we hope this will not uh, result in some major threat to the nuclear power plant. Yuri Sak, thank you very much.